morning guys it is august the 31st it is raining not extremely bad but it has been raining like really really bad and i'm running late guys for my uh, appointment i have to go to the dentist this morning appointment is at 10 o'clock and it is actually like 9 35 and i have like 30 minutes or so drive so i'm gonna really get off of here i may do a little recording at the dentist i'm not sure because i don't know if they allow it they may allow it i don't know and it's not like that you're in a separate room uh at the dentist when i go to like the uh the regular dentist it's a separate room but when i go to the orthodontist we're like an open like an, it's an open room we're we're in uh our individual chairs but we're all lined up beside each other getting our mouth worked on so i don't know can we have our phone and camera we may can i never asked because i never tried to record in the dentist but i just have to, have to really basically go get my wiring changed uh, up to a stronger strength so i've been in some pain and i'm quite sure i'll be talking a little funny I know my mouth's going to be hurt because the last time they put the working wires on the bottom and I was in some pain, y'all. So, I'm going to see y'all in a little bit because I need to really watch this weather. The road is really, really slippery. And I did get a little break in the rain where it's not pouring down hard, but it's constant. So, see you guys soon. All right, guys. Y'all see it's 10.01. That means I'm getting here. If I was in my old baby, this is not the main office. This is the uh, branch and Natchez. This is it. So I'm just about to go up a size on wire. And that's about it. I'm doing good, she says. Don't be laughing at my wig because I didn't glue it down. I had a corner seat with a divider. like 10 13 and i went up in there at like a little after 10 this is actually one of the quickest dental appointments that i have had because they didn't change the bottom because the bottom i already had a um higher strength than the upper because my teeth were turned um they were turned outer where they couldn't put the uh stronger strength up top on the second go round, so they had to um keep the same lower uh, strength, the lower strength wire, and put some type of bands or something to pull the teeth over to turn it right. So the bottom is is pretty much ahead of the top. So what they did is kept the bottom the same and didn't change the wire because the wire was good. And they put the same wire um, that the, the same strength wire that's on the bottom, which is called working wire. They put the working wire now on the top, so the top can pretty much catch up with the bottom. So at least I don't have to worry about my whole mouth being sore this time. Just my upper mouth being sore this time. Because the last time my mouth was extremely sore. The bottom was really, really sore and the top was sore because they still both went up. So now it's just pretty much the top. But I can only imagine when I come back in October that I'm going to be messed up the top and the bottom so the prices we have to pay when our mouth is jacked up and they tried to give me braces as a child and i refused and my mom didn't make me get them how about that but that's why i make my made my son get them when he was small but he actually wanted them and my daughter needs them i'm gonna go and make her get them or whatever because when we get grown man this is something to go through when you grown but i could actually see a little difference in my mouth my teeth are small because I have like thick, thick gums. And I done had them trimmed before and they grow right back. But I'm going to get them done again. My son, his was super, super thick. The oldest. And he done had them done so many times and they grew back. But this time, he had them done with the laser from the orthodontist. And they look good. I mean, you can't even tell he had those type of gums or whatever. But it runs on my mother's side of the family. So my mom had them. She passed them down to me. I passed them down to him and his was like worse than mine. 
So it's just amazing how genetics, genetics can be. He had a gingivectomy. I had a gingivectomy. And it's just mostly my upper or whatever. But I'm going to get that taken care of once I get these braces taken off. I would love to do it before I get them taken off. But she was like, just wait till you get your braces taken off. So, But now I'm going to go to my job and drop some notes off. Actually going to my job so I can turn these notes in. My job is actually not far from the dentist. You see the donut shop? We don't have no Krispy Kremes or nothing like that. You have to really go to Netflix to get the Krispy Kreme. But you see the donut shop, quality glass, Oxford Healthcare, uh, State Farm, and then you have like a place where you can borrow money. I'm right there. I'm right at Oxford Healthcare. Oxford Healthcare. You got State Farm. Whoa, what is it? Cash ink. And then you got me Oxford Healthcare. So all I'm gonna do is go ahead and drop these notes off and now I gotta run in the grocery store. Now what I'm doing now guys is I'm about to go to the Natchez Market. I love this store. Um that used to be Kmart over there. It's closed. But that's Natchez Market right there. I love this store. Now, this is the store where you can actually make grocery or buy items. And this is the store where you could get the stamps. They give you, like, stamps. And you can fill a book of stamps, guys. And you can get, for each filled book, you can get $5 off. Now, um, of course, I should have came here and not went to Walmart when I spent, uh, when uh, we spent that $190 something, almost 200 bucks for Caleb's birthday. I should have came here and I could have got me a whole lot of freaking stamps. But because Walmart was the first place we went to, and I wanted that Hershey's cake, we went on and made a one-stop shop up in there and got the game and everything. But this is the place where you want to come to to generate your stamps. And then I've been in it so much, I know where everything is, but of course they didn't arrange it or whatever, rearranged it, so I don't know where everything is like I used to. But I used to come in here, Natchez Market too, boom, bam, boom, out of there, unless I just wanted to spend some time and be shopping up in there mad stuff i really don't need but i don't really need too much out of here today honestly um i just have a taste for some homemade burgers today so that's what i want to come in here to get some ground beef um and i'm gonna put a twist to it because to make the kids eat some veggies i'm gonna buy a bag of spinach and i'm gonna shred that up uh in the blender and i'm gonna put that in the ground beef when i'm making them and of course i'm gonna add my other seasonings to it but i just want to really come in here to get some uh ground beef a big pack of ground beef. Uh, I'm going to get um, the spinach, the bag of spinach, and uh, some buns. That's all I have to come in here for. I don't have to come in here to get no grocery or whatever. I just have to come in here and really get that, the buns and the ground beef and the spinach. And probably like the tomato or whatever. So, I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright. In the store. I got more than what I actually came for. As usual. But I might do the haul when I get home. Maybe, maybe not. But you guys can kind of see what I got. It's more than buns and meat. But I'm finna come out of here. Alright guys, I'm not for sure if I feel like doing a video when I get home. But, of that haul. I mean, but I spent $44. I got $44 cash back. And you guys pretty much saw a list of the stuff that I got. So I'm about to go to McDonald's. And all I'm about to do is get <clears throat> I'm on the back side, y'all. <clears throat> all I'm about to do is so I should have went up and came down. I'm gonna do all that. I'm finna, I just want me um a caramel frappe pay to give me my boost of energy that I need. Hi, how you doing? I'm good and you? I'm good. Let me get a uh, medium caramel frappe. Okay, whatever. That's all. Medium caramel for a payday, so it's going to be 3 dollars first one. Thank you. Thank you. And this thing is so good. It gives me all the energy that I need and that I desire with this. Mm. Okay, guys. So, I am back to the house. <clears throat> Let me get myself together. Throat getting sore. But, back at home. And... What I'm going to do, just in case I don't want to do the haul inside the store. I did anyway. I showed you guys the basket. But just in case I want to delete that, I decided to jump on over here and spread these few items that I purchased. I 
keep getting brain farts. Why? I don't know. Am I getting too old before my time? Why? Why am I keep forgetting? Is my kids running me crazy? Is my husband running me crazy? What in the world is going on with me? I keep forgetting, y'all. <clears throat> but what I was saying is I spread these few items that I purchased on the counter for you guys to see being just in case I decide to omit the cart and the store. I went in to get ground beef and buns and a tomato and the spinach because I was, I'm going to shred the spinach up in my blender and I'm going to put it inside my ground beef so me and the kids can consume some veggies today, okay? And I'm not going to tell them. And I don't know if they're going to notice because a lot of times when I put spinach and stuff, they don't even know. So just to help us out. You know, so today's menu is going to be burgers. I'm going to fry some bacon to go on top. We got some cheese. This stuff already in the fridge. That ain't nothing I had to buy. And I really just went to get, <clears throat> like I said a few minutes ago, that's what I went to get. But I saw a few other items with some good prices. So let me jump on over here and show y'all because I keep talking and talking and talking and talking. Oh, I hate to get sick. <clears throat> okay, this bread was two for five. I never saw the ballpark bread before. I was looking for the cheap bread. I like the dollar bread, y'all, because I'm cheap. But I didn't see it. It was two for five. <clears throat> I only got one. And it was a wheat bread that was two for five. So I got that. Oatmeal pies along with... um. It was, you could get three of these <laughs> little Debbie products for five bucks. So I chose them too because they had the honey buns and the kids don't like the honey buns too much. I got some nanners. These grapes was on sale today for $3.99. And this ground beef, um, it says $6.55. It actually expires tomorrow, so I have to definitely get on that. I like the head lettuce, but it looked so bad, so I have to get the romaine. I do buy romaine too. These are the cheap plates. I think that was like probably 79, 89, 69. I don't know. Um, spinach. I think it was like $3.99 or something. One tomato because it'll go bad if I buy too many. We don't eat them. These was actually on sale for $2.79, I want to say. So I got them. I normally buy like a big thing from like the Dollar General for like $3.99. But I didn't feel like stopping because it's raining and it's wet. These little guys have 24 in here. And guys, these was only 69 cents. So, <laughs> I got two of the spoons and the forks. It's the same. Uh, <clears throat> 24 in each one, but it was only 69 cents. Here's the other pack of buns. <clears throat> uh, two for five. The wheat, the wheat kind I was telling you guys about. <clears throat> Me and Ken going to eat the wheat. And the little kids is going to eat the regular kind. I should make all of us eat wheat. I got to start making all of us do better. Because all of and our lives matter. The, um, I just got this corn because we all love corn. And the Libby's was actually on sale. Five for five. And then as I got on down the aisle. You know how we do. We go on down the aisle. And they had the value time three for a dollar. So I got that because I normally have to fry like eight cans at a time. That's my mama blowing y'all. So that's the haul. You know it left from this ground beef and tomato. And this and, and this, these buns. To a little bit of something else. And this little box was waiting on me today when I came home. So maybe this is the noodles. But I did order something else. So. Okay. So I opened the box. So what's in the box, right? You want to know what's in the box? These noodles. Two times spicy noodles. So my baby noodles have arrived. So, be looking forward to that spicy noodle challenge. We did do a noodle challenge, the ones that you guys saw for my baby birthday. We did do that. I'm going to have to upload that. Maya just had her head in the way, you know. And you couldn't see Tyler when he was eating his stuff. So, that's going to kind of be a little mess up because you really can't see him uh, eating the noodles. when She had already tapped out. And I, this is a five pack. And I really wanted to order this. I wanted this to come when daddy was home because I wanted him to be in the noodle challenge too because it's supposed to be hot. But he gone. He gone to work, y'all. He left today, August 31st. He back on the road. He been home with us for the summer. Daddy works off. He wells. He uh, wells all over the world. So daddy is gone back to make some moolah. 
for the fam. For herself too, of course. My work too. She don't just stay at home. I wish I could stay at home. Yeah, I do, I do, I do. Huh. I will stay at home for a little while. But I will have to, I think I will have to do something to keep me busy. And after this YouTube channel get to popping. And these subscribers go up, 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 Don't up, forget up, the up. views, girl. And I get to making me some moolah. I oh, yeah. At home and just record and talk to you guys. But these subscribers got to go up and up and up and comment and comment and sharing and sharing. And views. And all that other stuff. So it, all that ain't happening for me right now. I got a few loyal subscribers. And I love y'all. And I try to be back loyal to y'all, too. So, them the spicy news. But let me tell y'all what's, what's else in this box. And I did a video on this, and a lot of y'all probably saw it, but my new subscribers may not be then saw this. And this is a good product for us females. And let me remind you, I've been out of this product, shame on me. I've been out of this product, guys, since, um, 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 one, two, three about four months when i did the video i was under half a bottle probably when i did the video so i've been out of this bottle about three or four months probably and i didn't order no more shame on me because this is something really good for females women's femdophila so we cannot go wrong with this this is for vaginal and urinary tract health <clears throat> it's pretty much a probiotic that's what it is but it works really good. People with bacterial vaginosis, people with recurrent um, yeast infections, people with UTIs. You know, it's not an antibiotic, it's a probiotic. And it really works well. So, you females might want to try this. I take it not every day. And of course, you know I don't take it every day if I've been out of three, for three or four months. But, I like to take this when I was when I had it. I used to like to take this before my cycle came on because at one point I was diagnosed with BV. You can go watch the video, um, <clears throat> maybe a couple years or so ago. And the pills were so nasty that the doctor gave me. Did research, watch the video, a bacterial vaginosis. But this is good. It's good. It's natural. And what I do now. Is what I'm gonna start back doing is taking this prior to my cycle a week or two prior before my cycle comes on you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying cuz I love coffee oh I love stuff with caffeine and I don't like drinks but I like coffee I like Fred Pays I like cappuccinos I like all type of stuff like that <coughs> I like tea so this is really good to help balance the woman's vagina so try this out thank me later let me get these kids burgers going <clears throat> i'm gonna do them some baconator fries and i'm gonna make them some brownies this is no i didn't buy this i have so much stuff in that cabinet but i'm gonna get them a sweet treat since the birthday cake is gone it's gone it's gone 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 bye y'all bye Ground beef, y'all, with the spinach added. And I already seasoned it. All I have to do is put my egg and put my toast in. All right, y'all. The kids about to come home. We'll have the boys will have about two about two patties a piece. I have one. I don't know if I'm gonna do the bun or not, but as you can see, uh, they've been ready about 20 30 minutes. They didn't kind of cool down. They're not hot at all, so they'll have to heat them up before they eat them. I have the bacon ready to go on top. <clears throat> uh, cheese is in the fridge. Um, I grilled the onions and the uh, burger grease. Here's their brownies. And I'm about to get their fries ready. I'm going to do them some bacon and fries. So I try to say the fries for last because I can't stand cold fries. I hear the bus. I bet Sassy jump down. She go grease them every day. <laughs> first one going to be Caleb or either Maya. They always the, one of the first ones to come in. Set. She ready for them. She ready for her friends. <clears throat> I'm ready for them today. <clears throat> what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it, Sassy? What is it, Sassy? What is it, Sassy? What is it, Sassy? Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, big girl. 
Caleb is the first contestant. Okay. Didn't I tell you I know I my kiddos? So I was just gonna be the two little ones. Got Caleb. How was your day today, Caleb? He ain't gonna say nothing. Good. How was your day today? Good. It's not good. How was your day today? <laughs> smell like sweet green apples in here. Sweet green apples. <gasps> All right, guys. These are the baconator fries. <clears throat> the bacon uh, <clears throat> with the cheese. Cheese is not all the way melted, <clears throat> but once we put them on the plate, we can put them in the microwave and, and melt it all the way. So, did you guys really think I was gonna end my day without working uh, out tonight? No. I know I just got started on yesterday. And I thought about it. Don't work out tonight. Skip and go tomorrow. But my good side of the brain said, you better get on that treadmill, even if it's for a few minutes, sister. So I'm going to end this vlog with a little workout, okay? <clears throat> Allergies are acting up. Throat is getting sore, and I know it's due to all this rain, but I'm still gonna do a little bitty workout, okay? So I'll be back in a little bit, guys. Program two. It's a beast. I'm testing myself. It's all sick. Yeah, I'm all sick. guys i challenged myself today on program two i finished my 30 minutes out i started at 8 30. it's 8 56 2.12 mile distance 63 fat calories um 198 um uh, regular calories i guess you guys can see that yes as you can see it was hard <laughs> I challenge myself today. There's so many times I want to get down. That program too is a beast. Especially for someone <laughs> who's a beginner and have not been working out. <laughs> Today's my second day, as you saw yesterday in some months. But I'm gonna try to stick with it. This this was yeah, 198. Um, I don't know because it's the glare, but it's 198 calories. And then you guys saw the fat calories. This keeps up with it, and it has 30 minutes on the diet, it keeps up with your time. And all that kind of stuff so I'm gonna do my arms and probably gonna work on some abs I forgot to put my uh, belt on I mean my waistband on cuz I hate wearing a waistband or a waist trainer I hate that I have a lot of them that I purchased but I hate to wear that constricted stuff I do you know I just hate to wear it <laughs> but I need to wear it or whatever so um, I just want to encourage anyone um, that needs to get themselves together, that needs to get healthy, just to do a little bit at the time. You don't have to do a lot. You don't have to keep up with these trainers. Uh, you don't have to keep up with somebody else. Just do a little bit at the time. And, you know, you can work your way up gradually. I just tested myself because I'm at home and I'm working at my own pace. I decided to go on my program, too, because I know that I can do it. I used to be a workout fanatic. And... I just fell off, you know? So just to encourage, stop fanning me because I'm already trying to come down with a cold and that cold, that cool air ain't gonna do it. <laughs> but I just wanna encourage you guys to get up and get started, even if it's three days a week. As long as you get some type of cardio in and then you can do some type of weight training or something, whatever you desire, but try to get a little cardio in if it's no more than three days a week. But don't you guys forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. I just didn't want you guys to think that I came yesterday saying come work out with me and I was gonna try and saying day two she wasn't gonna do nothing even though I uploaded a video on day two but it was an old video from the 26th so this is actually the 31st which is a current video so I don't know what day you guys will see it but I'm gonna try to stick with this so love you guys mm -hmm. I hope hardly hey, thank you guys for always watching for some reason I don't get 
an email showing me who subscribed to my page. So you need to drop a comment or something. Let me know that you subscribe. But my subscribers like to play with me because that 82 number stays there and then it'll move to 83, 84, 85, 86. And it's something about the number 86. It can't get past 86. It goes right back down <laughs> to 82 and it comes back up. So it's something about I cannot get over 1786. It's like 86 is a curse for me. <laughs> but if you subscribe and I don't subscribe back, it's because I don't know that you have subscribed. I do see when my numbers change. But if you don't drop a comment, I don't know because I don't get a notification. So just a FYI. But bye, you guys. I have a little bit more working out to do.